Good morning. Today we're going to begin the cold water architectural self-guided walking tour online version. We meet here at the mill, which is 1 Mill Street in Coldwater, Ontario, Canada. The first house we're going to talk about is 2 Mill Street across the road. For the Steampunk Festival this year, the front of this house is being used as a backdrop for uh, art exhibitions. Here you have the history on the porch of the establishment of the oral African settlement. And here is a beautiful coral reef, which was a community art project with the Espanola Fiber Festival Arts. Both these displays will be up for your enjoyment until September 2nd. But right now, we're going to talk about the house at 2 Mill Street and its history. I'm going to begin by introducing a history of cold water at the turn of the 20th century. In 2008, uh, a centennial project for, uh, of the historical walking tour was created by the Centennial Committee, which consisted of local historians like Doug Miller, Vic Emerson, Doug Binns, participating homeowners, and the Coldwater Centennial Committee. Fast forward to 2020 and the Coldwater Steampunk Festival, with support from the Department of Canadian Heritage, is reviving the historical walking tour and we're adding a few things. So today, 2 Mill Street is a small house circa 1870. It was moved to its present location. It became an office for the mill and then later a tax office and courthouse with the holding cell in the basement. It housed Gover's insurance before becoming a private home. The cement block bricks were manufactured in cold water by Ernest Walker and his son Jack. A porch has been added. Many homeowners have, ha uh, have lived in this house and there's many fond memories of living on the Coldwater River. Thank you and Tune in tomorrow while we explore 4 Mill Street. Bye-bye. Yeah.